seconds left. Johnson throws it, intercepted. Knight, two seconds, one second. Oh, he missed it at the hole. What is a layup? A layup in basketball is a two-point shot attempt made by leaping from below, laying up the ball near the basket, and using one hand to bounce it off the backboard and into the basket. Despite it being the easier shot in the game, it can be very pressurized and difficult in certain situations. So in this video, we will teach you the correct way to make a layup. Part 1. Running The total distance traveled will be 12.8 meters, which is traveled in 2.17 seconds. Using the formula for horizontal velocity, we find that the velocity would be equal to 12.8 meters over 2.17 seconds, which equals 5.9 meters per second, equating to about 13.2 miles per hour. This in turn would mean that the player is accelerating at 2.72 meters per second squared. Part 2. Jumping. Where to jump from? You want to jump off the foot opposite to the side you're running up on. Example, if you're running up on the right side of the basket, you want to jump off the left foot. This will allow yourself to keep balance and put all the power built up onto one side of your body. After running until the basket, you want to jump when you get almost exactly below the rim. Around here. You will then land about 1.5 meters away from the jump point and land on the baseline. After the full jump, we can notice that it creates an arc of projectile motion. We measured the horizontal distance to be 1.5 meters. The distance traveled going up and down will both be 0.75 meters, each traveled in 0.27 seconds. The vertical velocity will be 2.65 meters per second, while the horizontal velocity will be 2.78 meters per second, meaning that the total velocity will be 3.84 meters per second, or about 8.6 miles per hour. The vertical distance will be 0.38 meters, which is added to the player's height, giving us a maximum height of 2.16 meters. Part three, the layup. After running, the player will gain a momentum of 388.4 kg centimeters per second. From here, there are a number of forces to consider when pushing up the ball. First is the force through the push vertically, then through the force horizontally backwards. Lastly, you will combine the two forces in a, in a net force in the opposite direction as well. The force of the jump onto the ground is 1130 newtons, which is the equivalent to 254 pounds. The force of the impact onto the backboard is 0.08 newtons, which is the equivalent to 0.36 pounds. The impulse is 0.08 times 0.01, which is equal to 0.008 newton seconds. The force of the push is equal to the initial vertical force added to the force of gravity, since it needs to counteract gravity. The force of gravity would be 5.88 newtons, while the vertical force would be 4.34 newtons, meaning the force of the push would equal 10.22 newtons, or about 2.25 pounds. The change in velocity, being negative 5.3 meters per second, is done in 0.39 seconds, meaning that the acceleration will equal 13.6 meters per second squared in the opposite direction. Using the formula, we find that the horizontal force is 8.16 newtons going in the opposite direction. Now that we have the two forces, we can then find the net force by using the Pythagorean theorem. This will give us that the V total is equal to 13.08 newtons, also in the negative direction. The place of impact can vary depending on how you shoot the ball. For the most part, you want to hit the ball in one of the top corners of the inside square. The ball will hit a backboard at a 10 degree angle from the 90 degree split of the backboard. This will create two different velocities, the velocity up and the velocity down. They will both be 2.82 meters per second and 3.62 meters per second respectively. From here we can find the momentum using the mass and the total velocity being 6.44 meters per second and 0.6 kilograms. This would mean that the momentum is 3.86 kilograms times meters per second. 
Rather than hitting the ball straight in the center of the backboard, you can hit it farther out while having a slight spin to the ball. This allows the ball to gain extra momentum, which will launch it in the direction of the rim. When the ball hits the board, it will be reflected at the same angle at which it hit it with, 10 degrees. This is due to the law of reflection. Once the ball travels downward, its rotational momentum will drag it downwards as well, pushing it off its line. Knowing that the mass is 0.6 kilograms, the velocity is 0.87 meters per second, and the radius to the basketball is 0.12 meters, we can say that the rotational momentum will be 0.06 kilograms times meters squared per second. Layups are seen to be the easiest shot in the game of basketball, yet it is also the leading play to cause injury throughout basketball history. So following these detailed steps and calculations will allow you to avoid making bad physical decisions while also easily getting two points on the board on every opportunity.